Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 EVS chapter 13, Pochampalli. So, we will see what is given in this chapter. Vani and Prasad live in a village called Muktapur. Their home is always filled with bundles of bright colored threads. Their mother and father and everyone else in the family are weavers. So, they used to make um, cloth. The weaving that they do is very beautiful and special. Muktapur village is in the Pochampalli town. So, that is in Telangana. Most of the families in this town are weavers. That is why the special cloth that they weave is called Pochampalli. So, this is the variety of cloth they weave. The villagers have been doing this work for a long time. Vani and Prasad's parents learnt weaving from their elders. So, this is the process of making Pochampalli star saris. We will uh, see uh, in depth in the next slide. Now, Vani and Prasad also help their parents after coming back from school. This weaving requires hard work and many different things have to be done before actually weaving. From thread to cloth. So, we are going to see the process how they do from thread to cloth. Father brings bundles of threads from Pochampalli town. First uh, step is bringing bundles of thread. Mother then puts these threads in boiling water to wash away the dirt and strains. So, second step is washing away the dirt and strains from those threads. So, to wash away the dirt and strains is the second step. Then everybody works to dye the thread with bright colors. Third step is drying the thread with bright colors. These threads are then dried and rolled into bundles. So, fourth uh, step is again they are dried and rolled into bundles. These bundles are put into looms and the cloth is woven. So, next step is these bundles are put onto looms and the cloth is woven. Silk cloth and silk saris are woven from silk thread. Cotton thread is used to weave cotton saris, cloth, sheets, etc. The loom has many needles. The size and number of the needles changes according to the design. The weavers weave the beautiful pochampalli saris in bright colors through their traditional craft that they have made their region world famous. So, this is how they make uh, the saris or this type of cloth. A craft in danger. Great skill is needed to weave such a special saris. It also takes uh, many days to many days to make it. So, it takes it also takes many days of hard labor. After all these, it is difficult to get a good price for these uh, saris. Silk is becoming expensive day by day. Big shopkeepers give very little money for the saris, though they themselves sell them at very high price. That is why many weavers are giving up their uh, family craft. Many are leaving their villages to work as laborers. In uh, big cities, we need to solve this problem by helping them get a better price. Otherwise, this precious craft will be lost forever. So, what you have to do is, so what the government has to do is, government has to fix the uh, a high price. So, reasonable price. Instead of uh, saying high price, it should uh, fix a reasonable price for those saris so that the families who weave them will get benefited. So, let us all discuss. Vani and Prasad learned this beautiful craft from their family members. When they grow up, do you think they will be able to teach their uh, children the skills of this craft? So, you are going to write uh, the following questions in your notebook. Have you ever seen anybody weave something on a loom? So, you are going to say yes or no. So, you can write yes they will be able to teach their uh, children the skills of this craft. So, you are going to write it in the notebook. Have you ever seen anybody weave something on a loom? Yes. So, where you saw it? What were they weaving and where? 
they were weaving a shawl or sari so you can write what uh, you saw next the threads of a sari or dyed do you know of any other thing that is dyed so woolen thread is also dyed if you visit vani's village it seems as if the entire village is weaving sarees do you know of any other work which many people living in one place do so you can uh, write any other uh, work like pottery do they make some article so yes they make earthen pots find out the process of making the article what are the different steps so here you have written pottery so you can write what are the steps for making it first of all they make a dough of uh, fine earth the dough is put on a wooden wheel which is called a chalk or potter's wheel the potter then gives the desired shapes to the earthen dough desired pots and toys made of earth and are dried in the sun and then baked in kiln then they are colored as per the requirement so you can um, take any other work and write down the process of making uh, the article next do men and women do different kinds of work to make this article usually do do the, do the same work and share their task do children also contribute in making this article yes children also contribute in making this articles next find out and write talk to an iron smith a carpenter and a potter about the nature of their work so iron smith what does he do he make uh, things made of iron carpenter carpenter makes wooden articles potter makes earthen pots and toys where did they learn to do their work so obviously they would have learned this from their parents or elders what else did they need to learn to be able to do this work the skill of imagination for making good pottery so they should uh, imagine um they should develop their skill of imagination to um work or to uh, be in this field have they taught this work to anybody in their family or to anyone else so you can write yes or no next the table below has a list of different kinds of work that people do do you know people who do such work write their names in the first column in the second column next column write from whom they have learned their work so cloth weaving prasad and vani's present name of somebody you know who does this work where did they learn from so they would have learned from their parents elders so you have to fill this table like this cloth weaving cooking cycle repair flying aeroplanes sewing and dye embroidery singing making shoes flying kites farming cutting hair so name of the person you have to fill here and from where did they learn either from elders or father or management institute so you have to write from where did they learn from so this chapter ends here uh, hope this video is useful and understanding we'll see in the next video thank you